Hello and welcome back to the last stage, last part of the solution of a maximization problem in case of transportation problem. This is our third solution. First was initial, then modified one, and this is modified two. Now, if we calculate the profit at this modified solution, it comes to rupees fifteen thousand four hundred. It was 15,180 at the initial stage, at the end of the initial solution. At the end of the first modified solution, it increased to 15,300 because this is maximization problem. Now it is 15,400. That means after second modification, it has again increased. But whether this is the final or not, again we have to check the optimality of this solution. And for that purpose, we have to... Right, first of all, U, I, and V, J values. For that purpose, I follow my own suggestion. The row or column with the highest proportion of occupied cell should be allocated 0 as the value of U or V. And according to this, now we know that the relevant V for these three occupied cells will be as equivalent to C, C minus U equals to E, 18, 15 and 7. Now on the basis of this occupied cell and this V, C minus V, we can write that U1, 7 minus 18, minus 11. And similarly on the basis of this one and this occupied cell, C minus V, 5 minus 7, minus 2 will be the value of U3. And to find the value of V1, we can use this occupied cell and this value of U. C minus U. 11 minus minus 2, that is 11 plus 2. 13 is the relevant value of U, uh, sorry, V1. Okay, now what? Now, for all the empty cells, we have to calculate Dij values and to check the optimality dij equals to cij minus u plus v or ui plus vj for all empty cells first empty cell is d1a 13 minus minus 11 plus 13 so it is 13 minus 2 that is 11 positive leave it D1C 19 minus minus 11 plus 15 so it is 19 minus 2 sorry 4 it is 15 positive leave it D1D 0 minus U is minus 11 plus 11 V is 7 so 0 minus minus 4, it is positive 4. It is positive, so leave it. Now, second row. Empty cell. D2A. C is 17. Minus sign according to formula relevant U is 0. Plus relevant V is 13. So it is 17 minus 13 is equal to positive 4. In the third row, the empty cell is. 3B, D3B, relevant C is 22, minus sign according to formula, relevant U is minus 2 plus relevant V is positive 18, 22 minus 16, so it comes to positive 6. And the last empty cell, 6th empty cell, sorry, <coughs> yes, it is this one, d 3 C. 14 minus relevant U. 2 plus relevant V. 15. So it is 14 minus 13. Ultimately it is positive 1. So now all the D values are positive. We can say that this is the optimal solution. Yes. And hence it is proved that at the optimal solution the profit is the maximum possible profit. We can compare it with the profit at initial stage and profit at the first modified. So this is the optimal solution. And in this case, 
if the company follow this pattern of transportation of the quantity from warehouse to market the maximum possible profit will be rupees 15400 that's it thank you very much